Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Uh, currently, right now, I'm going to review Steven Spielberg's Ready Player One from Apple TV 4K onto my 130-inch screen in my uh, other room that I have. Um, I can do 155-inch, but uh, honestly, I felt from... Nine feet away, 130 inch, it's more than enough, man. Diagonal, which as you can see right over here, 130 inch, it's more than enough. You see, when you have a projector, those black bars don't become an issue because that's the, the original ratio of theatrical representation. So let's talk about uh, Apple TV 4K version of Ready Player One. Please keep in mind that this is not a physical copy. Physical copy, I'm pretty sure, will, e will have even higher bit rate. Uh, but considering that this is a digital 4K Dolby Vision and HDR version of a movie, I have to say that I'm really impressed with the bit rate and the color gamut of that Dolby Vision and HDR, especially with the Dolby Vision. However, this projector doesn't have Dolby Vision. It only supports HDR. But even here, that 93% of DCI-P and that uh, color accuracy from BenQ here, it's really good. That's the one unique feature about HT2550 is the fact that although it's not as bright in lumens light as uh, the TK... Uh, I forgot the name of the uh, model. It's a TK2000 or something like that. I'm not sure. It has a higher lumens brightness, which is about 3,000 lumens. I think it's TK2000 or something like that. I could be wrong. But I know it's a TK model. And uh, sure, that projector will give you a very outstanding brightness whether you're watching it in a lit up room or in a dark room. However, the one sacrifice with these brighter projectors is the fact that you are going to lose some of that color accuracy. And me, look, projectors are meant to be in a dark room like this, in a very dark room. That's where a projector, it's always meant to be. Why do you think they turn the lights off when the movie starts in a movie theater? Same thing here. Projectors are meant to be in a, in a very dark room. So I would rather have a better color accuracy than to have that higher lumens brightness. A lot of people make mistakes. They think, oh, if you have a higher lumens brightness, that the HDR is going to look better. Not necessarily. There is going to be a trade-off. There is going to be a sacrifice. That color wheel... It's going to lose that color accuracy. Here, with this color wheel on DLP, I'm not losing that color accuracy. So let's talk about this movie. Uh, I already covered this with my uh, TCLR 617, but I'm going to cover it now with HT 2550 BenQ HDR 4K projector. Well, first thing first, let's talk about the HDR. As I have mentioned previously on my video for TCLR 617, the one thing that's going to caught your attention, it's that color gamut. And this HDR version of this movie on Apple TV 4K, it really shows that color gamut. And it definitely pops here on a BenQ 4K HDR projector. So that tells me that they really did a good job in terms of HDR. And this movie does look great in HDR because it has a lot of special effects, has a lot of vibrant colors, and the color that the Yanis Kaminsky, uh, director of photography, used here. So there's a lot of those flare effects too. So the, the color is going to pop. This movie, it is really made for HDR because it's like an eye candy. There's so much stuff happening. There's so many colors popping out, you know, because it is a mixture between the reality and then virtual reality. So the colors definitely pop in this movie, along with the peak brightness. I mean, there's so many scenes, even in the dark scenes like this, when the 
you know, holographic imagery project itself into this avatar. Even here, you can kind of see, uh, if I bring my camera a little bit closer, I'm right now nine feet away, but if I maybe get closer to it, maybe I can show you what I'm talking about. Uh, you see, like, even here, you can see just how well that HDR is being portrayed accurately here with the peak brightness. Uh, you see, this is what happens when you have a good HDR with a good color accuracy uh, and a good contrast ratio. And this HD 2550 has both. It has a nice balance between the contrast and the color accuracy. Now, in terms of CGI, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, this movie has a lot of CGI, but the way the CGI is done, it's composited in such a way that it's not like a Marvel movie. You know, it's not like a The Avengers, all right? Uh, it's not like In Your Face or what's another great example of too much CGI? You know, like... Um, That uh, DC uh, movie that was released uh, last year. You know, like a Justice League. It's not like that. This, it's really, this is why I like Spielberg. Because he likes to keep a balance. He doesn't want CGI to be in your face. But he does use it where it's necessary. Obviously, it is necessary in this movie. But it's done in such a way that it really looks good. And when you see the movie, you will understand what I'm talking about. And I always tell people, you know, if you want to watch a movie, if you want to experience a movie, the projector is the way to watch it. Uh, to me, the projector gives you that accurate cinema experience that you maybe want. Television will never going to be able to give you this kind of a ratio, you know. To fill in the entire screen like this. From one angle to the other angle. Uh, you know, you're just not going to be able to achieve that on a television. 16 by 9 television. With a projector, you truly are getting that uh, cinematic experience that movie director intended you to experience. You know. So, luckily, I have two projectors. I have a couple of projectors so I have that choice. But here, let me bring my camera a little bit closer for you guys. Just so you can see that uh, this really looks sharp and detailed. Uh, even when I bring my camera closer to the, uh, the uh, to the screen here. And you will see just like how detailed that is. This is all CGI. And just look uh, how beautifully this is being presented. And another great thing is what really uh, blows me away it's the Apple. I know there's Voodoo. I know there's other streaming uh, services out there. But the way Apple produces the bitrate, it's almost as near quality as the physical media. It's not exactly like physical media, but it's damn near physical media quality. And it really looks good. And even on this scene, which is my favorite scene, Back to the Future, Car... Uh, the HDR pops here with the color gamut really nicely. Like, see that smoke effect? All of this just really is being represented nicely when it's in its full motion moving picture. Obviously, I cannot play the a scene of the movie because I don't want to get flagged. I don't want to get blocked. Uh, okay? So I have to... This is the only way I can show it to you is through a paused paused video but I'll get closer to it just to give you some kind of reference idea just how sharp and detailed this is uh, even if I get closer you'll see just kind of detail that you're getting the sharp detail here and accuracy and in my opinion projector will give you that best cinematic experience of this movie that is, if you want to experience this movie in its original uh, theatrical format. But let's not forget, you know, I am doing this review with a Apple TV. 
This is a streaming Apple TV 4K, and it looks this good. And um, yesterday I talked about on my video how Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, the famous director, not that he needs to be introduced, uh, just his name alone will tell you everything you need to know, uh, just how successful of the film director, filmmaker he is, uh, the way he uses CGI, and I keep repeating this, but I think it's really important that the other film directors learn from Steven Spielberg. The way he injects CGI, it's composited in such a way that, I mean, you know it's CGI, but it's really composited and masked where it blends in with the original outside location that they're filming, for example, you know, or a facility that they're in, and it really looks seemingly combined together fluidly. Like, the, the best word I can use, it looks fluid. The CGI here looks fluid, and it almost looks photorealistic. You know, here's my, my biggest problem, and I'm sorry, Marvel fans, and I'm sorry that you have directors out there that just want to cash out money. But even in Infinity War, even in the uh, all of these Marvel movies, except maybe Captain America, there's just too much heavy CGI, guys. I don't like it when the CGI is in my face. Then it becomes like a video game. Okay? Here, CGI, it's used, but it's used in a way that it's composited really beautifully. Okay, and I think Spielberg, Steven Spielberg, and Bob Zemeckis, they know how to blend in the CGI better than, uh, I would say, uh, other directors out there. And of course, James Cameron, Spielberg, Bob Zemeckis, these three, I think they know how to implement that CGI much better, you know. And I'm sorry, Marvel fans, I know you guys are going to get mad, but... Uh, the Avengers are just too heavy on damn CGI, man. They're just too damn heavy. It's like in my face. It gives me a headache. It's too heavy on CGI. Even in this fast-moving scene, you really have a hard time uh, acknowledging whether this is a CGI, CGI or not CGI, and that's how good it's done. And this is what I'm talking about. The way Spielberg does CGI, it's, it's a bit different than uh, the other film directors, you know. So, that's just, look, this is just my opinion. I'm not hating on the Marvel movies, I like them, but I think they're too heavy in CGI. So, I don't know if there's anything else I can say, you know. Uh, I think watching this on a projector, it's the, the best way to go. In my opinion, because the projector is going to give you that nice diagonal, theatrical, widescreen version. Uh, a 55 or 65 inch TV, it's not going to give you that theatrical feel. All right. So, again, if you want to experience the movie, I think projector, and this is why you have a projector, this is why you buy a projector, so that you can experience movies the way they were meant to be experienced. And uh, the club scene in Oasis, uh, this is one of my favorite scenes. It really looks beautiful. Like the color gamut, the HDR here pops beautifully. And the peak brightness uh, really shows off. Like I said, I'm really impressed with the HDR of this film. And I knew that uh, when I... First of all, it's not my first time seeing this movie. I saw it in the movie theaters... Uh, I knew right away when I saw this in the movie theater, I knew exactly that uh, this will look great on the HDR and Dolby Vision. Now, is there like a huge difference between HDR and Dolby Vision? Uh, here, let me get my camera closer. The difference you will notice between HDR and Dolby Vision is that this dress will be much brighter in color. Uh, this flare of light will be much brighter in contrast and color. So the color 
will pop a little bit more, okay, on Dolby Vision. So that's the one difference that you're going to notice, a little bit brighter colors. Now, when the movie, it's not doing the CGI, when it's done in the, on the real locations, uh, the picture becomes even more sharper and cleaner. That's due to the fact that you have to remember, guys, uh, the movie switches between two different types of cameras. They have to lower it down to 2K resolution to do the CGI post-processing effects. Now, once they go back to a... A regular shot like this, then they can go to a uh, uh, Aries, you know, 6K or 4K or 8K cameras, and then can film it like this. But having said that, switching from uh, 2K intermediate to 4K to do the CGI effects, it is still done and upscaled to 4K nicely you know it still looks great and uh like i said this is cgi and honestly if i was to play the the clip of this movie of the scene you would just see the just you know it's cgi but at, at one it's at some point you can almost forget that it's cgi because it's done so well you know on the marvel movies it looks like a video game i know right away it's a cgi and looks fake here I know it's a CGI too, but it looks more realistic because it's composited in a such a way that it's blend in nicely. I don't know if do I make sense? Does this like uh, what Spielberg's doing? It's blending it in and compositing these shots much better than those uh, Avengers directors, in my opinion. And here's another great example. This entire scene of the movie, it's in CGI, but it's done so well. It is composited so well that you're going to have a hard time depicting that it is CGI. And I already talked about the uh, Janis Kaminsky, director of photography. Uh, it, it really did a great job here. Uh, he is famous for, you know, pretty much all of the uh, Spielberg movies since uh, Schindler's List. And uh, he definitely gives a very unique look of this movie. And the bitrate, it's another thing that I keep telling to everyone. The bitrate in this movie, even if I bring my camera closer, closer you will just see the bitrate. It's razor sharp. Uh, look at this razor sharp detail that you're going to see in the movie. And I think uh, that's the one unique thing about the Apple TV 4K. And I'm sorry for all of you Voodoo fans, but uh, Voodoo, it's limited to Warner Brothers and Universal. And their movies are more expensive. This is only 20 bucks, And you get two HDR format. And in the future, in... Uh, during the holidays and October, November, you're going to have Dolby Atmos with that update. There, as you can see, now I'm nine feet away and looks fantastic. Nine feet away, you have to sit nine feet away for 130 inch. 130 inch on a projector, diagonal, it is pretty, pretty big. Okay, guys? Well, as I said earlier in the beginning of the video and my previous video yesterday, for Apple TV 4K streaming, I highly recommend that you purchase this movie. Uh, you are getting two HDR formats. That's the bonus right there. Uh, it really looks great. And if you have a BenQ HD 2550, you're going to get that nice 93% DCI-P color accuracy. Uh, so I highly recommend that you get this uh, BenQ 4K HDR projector. Uh, I've been using it now for I don't know how like five months, and I haven't. I, there's really no complaint. Uh, it's a great projector, and even here, as you can see, it looks very sharp and detailed. It almost looks as if I'm watching a physical media, like a 4K. 
physical media movie. And uh, to me, that's a big bonus right there that you're getting this with Apple TV 4K. You know, people need to remember, you know, this is Apple TV 4K streaming. And even here on this scene with the explosion, you appreciate that HDR. Uh, this is what I was talking about. You know, the way this movie is done in two hours and 19 minutes. Uh, this is the genius of Spielberg. The way he composites, composites these shots. You know, this is a master of filmmaking. So he knows exactly how to blend in. Almost like a mixer. He's like a Tiesto of video editing and movie making. He knows how to blend in the movie with colors and, and HDR and everything and it just looks fantastic man but yes there is a CGI obviously in this movie but you see what I'm talking about the way the movie is composited now this is the the CGI shot that's composited obviously with a green screen onto a real shot in the background but the way Spielberg composites these shots it's really done nicely and in my opinion it's done better than the marvel movies and i'm sorry all you marvel fans i think uh captain america was done way better than the uh avengers avengers has way too much in your face video game type of like a cheap cgi and i'm sorry but i have to tell you the truth you know I don't like it in my face, too much CGI, okay? This was done nicely. And here, I did this purposely. I'm going to end the video right here uh, with this scene. A little spoiler. <laughs> All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, it looks great for streaming 4K. It looks great on the uh, TCL R617 and the projector. Thank you guys for watching. I will do a Sony X900E next. Thank you.